Hey guys, Sean here. Hey, I figured I'd give you guys a little update on how the Ruger fired today. I took it out to the woods right over by my house and um, put some rounds through it. It fired the 38s okay, but um, the 357s I put through it, it would fire a couple rounds and the, um, the trigger would lock up on it. Um, I would fire it and um, it would be like, uh, yes, this gun is unloaded. It would be like this. That's about all it did right there on a couple of the 50, 357 rounds. I'd have to turn the spin the cylinder, then do it. Then the, the, then the trigger would um, engage and fire the round. But um, <laughs> that was my uh, experience with this thing today. This is a used gun, so I called a couple friends of mine. And one of my friends said, um, this gun's probably had a lot of rounds put through it, even though it's in good looks in good shape to me. That's probably why I got the um, this ejector rod is rattling a little bit might be a couple worn parts on here so I called my local gun shop today and told them about it and they're like well we're not gonna we're not gonna sell you a, a broken gun you can either bring it back in and um, return it I'm like well I still like the gun you know I mean he says or we can send it to Ruger and have it fix at no cost they say Ruger honors their warranty and never um, usually charges anybody. He says he's, he's hardly ever seen anybody uh, get charged for a, a repair through, through Ruger. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, it sucks a little bit. I'm a little bit pissed off right now, but um, it is a used gun, so, you know, I didn't get a bad price on it. So I'm just going to have it sent out. That way it's it's fixed right, and I can get, the, uh, get this thing back and get it running in good shape again. So, anyways, guys, that's my, uh, that's my update on this gun. So, um, as always, be safe.